clock is rolling. T minus 30 seconds. Second stage will ignite its engines. Starship will then separate from the super heavy booster and head to space. And at the same time, the three engines that are still firing on super heavy will flip the booster around. Ten more engines will ignite for the boost back burn, putting the first stage on path for a splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. Oh my gosh. At 2 minutes 30, they do the separation. They have. Oh. I thought they would lose like four of them. They lost eight of them last Engine time. power <laughs> continues to look nominal on 33 Raptor engines. We're about to shut down the first stage and perform staging. Let's watch and listen. Go, here, go. And acquisition of Houston, Signal, Houston, and New Orleans. There they go. There they go. Boost ratchet cut off. Oh my gosh. Yes. Stage yes. separation. Boost back shot up. That's going. Oh my. Oh, they lost four engines. We are here to cheer in the first ever successful hot stage for SpaceX's oh, star team. Incredible oh. views of our super heavy booster. Oh! And as you can see, the super heavy booster has just experienced a rapid unscheduled disassembly. Oh. However, our ship is still underway with Should all six. And we just heard there, Ship Avionics powered telemetry nominal. All six engines are lit, as you can see from the GUI there at the bottom right hand side of your screen. Took too much damage from the separation. Probably. Now, we did know that the uh, <laughs> that hot staging was going to be incredibly dynamic. We knew that there was a chance that the booster would not survive, but we're going to take that data and figure out how we can make the booster better for the next hot stage. Yeah, that hot staging put a lot of load on the top of the booster, and of course it flipped around there, a lot of dynamics. They're gonna make it to orbit. But ship is still going strong. And it's doing great. Right now, the ship, the second stage, is uh, on its way. As like we said, you can see all six of its engines are ignited. 
I did not think they would get this far. The next major milestone for the ship uh, will be the shutdown of those engines, or SECO, second engine cutoff, which if you follow our Falcon 9 launches, familiar terminology there. So far, today has been incredibly successful, even with the RUD of the Super Heavy booster. This is amazing primary objective of the booster today to get to hot staging, to get ship on its way to orbit. It did that admirably. Yeah, we definitely asked... Start ship trajectory nominal. All right, great news there. That trajectory, trajectory for ship is nominal. Once again, Starship's second stage. It's firing those engines. And as you just heard, everything's looking good. Now, for the ship, we uh, wanted it to survive hot staging, which, as you can see there by that little dot on your screen, it did. Uh, we also want to uh, basically demonstrate that the successful startup of, that, uh, of those engines, demonstrating controlled ascent, which is what it's doing right now, um, and eventually orbital insertion. Uh, we are hoping to basically send this around the Earth and if it makes it this far, splash down in the Pacific Ocean, um, a couple hundred miles north of Hawaii. It'll be dark when they do that. It's still dark. In now, if we get that far, like all of that sounds great. Secondary objectives for ship, again, continuing to gather engine data and about its health, performance. Now, um, the chamber pressures. Great news there. That tells us that the chamber pressures inside of the Starship, again, that's that small dot on your screen, the, basically the propellant um, pressures in the ship are looking good. Yeah, the bottom right corner of your screen, you can see uh, essentially a, a user interface showing us which engines are lit. So the three center sea level Raptor engines on ship are gimbling engines. The three outer engines in the triangle, the larger ones are Raptor vacuum engines. All of them continuing to file, fire nominally. So they're at the pressures that we expect to try to get uh, into our target trajectory today. Yeah. And we're not targeting orbit today. We're targeting almost orbit today. Um, that's very intentional as part of the mission design. The goal is to get to a thrust profile similar to what we would need for orbit, but also and to get to the energy levels that the they ship would need to dissipate so to for re-entry. And so we're actually going in a oh. suborbital trajectory today, but that trajectory will get us to the energy levels that we need at re-entry, where we can really stress that heat shield and get valuable data on re-entry. And those calls that we are still on a nominal trajectory here and see nominal pressures means that we have a really good shot of hitting our target orbit. Yeah. Now, if the booster had survived, uh, we would be uh, around the time where it would be uh, getting ready to land, performing its uh, re-entry, but it unfortunately did not survive. Oh. Uh, that being said, that's OK. It survived several oh, okay. seconds after uh, hot staging, so good. we're going to take that data and improve the hot staging sequence and, and probably improve the hardware itself uh, for the next flight. Hmm? It's still good. You can see the speed. They shut down. That might just be the thrusters. They're supposed to shut down, yeah. They're standing by for a call they made it. here. Coming up on the projected time that ship would shut down its engines. Oh, so it shut down early. Yeah. As you can tell by the excitement from the crowd here at Mission Control Center in Hawthorne. Uh, there's a great view of our Star Command Center. That's our control center at Starbase Texas. The crowd here, Mission Control Center behind us in Hawthorne. Everyone is super exciting. What a successful day this has been so far. So they're still they're still good. It's waiting up. They're still they're still good.
And I mean, up to this point, major successful milestones through hot staging, which is the big objective today. So we are going to head into the coast phase. We made it. Uh, plan for the next about hour and five minutes. We'll be returning around the T plus one hour and 15 minute mark. And that's while we're waiting for Starship to continue on to its next step for reentry. We're not totally sure what video we're going to get. Um, and that video comes normally by overflying ground stations. But we don't have a ton along our flight path. So fingers crossed that we will get some via Starlink on this mission since we're testing that out. They're going to be able to show the, the reentry of that with the Starlink. 